What up, what up? It is your boy BQ. Welcome back to the channel. I don't usually like doing multiple uploads in a day, but I find myself doing it today because I've come across the information here on the internet. Many of you have probably already seen this about Impact Wrestling's viewership and ratings. Now, we've been asking this question for a while. It's people talking about all the time. What are they, do, they doing on Access TV? Now, let's talk about Pop TV for a second. 80 million homes. You know, they were usually in the high 200s, sometimes early 300s. And during the final deletion stuff, they even got up to the fours. And then uh, the uh, president of Pop TV at the time said with DVR, they were usually very close to half a million. So they're in a pretty healthy place viewership wise and pop on Pop TV uh, more than people would give it credit for. People used to clown those numbers, you know, saying, oh, OK, that's not that's not anything. Um, you know, when it got to Pursuit, I think they were in the very low hundred thousands. I mean, no one got Pursuit. That was a really <laughs> difficult channel to watch. Um, I had. I got various apps and you know streaming services and I can never get Pursuit. So Access TV, I don't have it on my cable package. Uh, I actually just got rid of cable and got YouTube TV, still didn't get Access TV, but I do watch it on Sling TV. So I'll be providing a link for Sling here uh, in the coming weeks uh, for those, those of you who wanna check it out. But that's how I watch it. I watch it on Sling, I can watch it live, I can watch a DVR, whatever. So let's get to the numbers because that's what you guys clicked on the video for. So, uh, Slammiversary Fallout, uh, the no viewership numbers were 163,000, which was up 4% from the previous week, which was the Go Home Show of 156,000. The week previous to that was 135,000. So that one was a little bit low, considering since March 24th, this is all being reported via PW Torch. Uh, since March 24th, the show has averaged 174,000. So it seems like it, it's gone down a little. Seems like it's it's fluctuating. Uh, the, you know, the company's been in different positions. You know, as far as the personnel coming in and out, wrestling wise, and you know, probably when they debuted on Access TV, it was probably a little higher. And that's always how it is. I mean, you look at NW, NWA's first show. You can look at the first AEW episode, first NXT episode. I mean, the, the, the viewership is always highest. You can look at the XFL, whatever you want to look at when it first kicks off. So. Obviously, numbers are going to come down a little bit. The 18 to 49 demographic, uh, their rating is a 0 0.05. So in comparison, NXT usually does about a 0.17 and AEW does about a 0.32. Now, what's that mean? In, in the millions of homes in America that have, you know, um, access, not access TV, but have, um, I, think it, I think it's access TV. Um, someone can correct me because the, the whole... The viewership and the ratings thing is a little bit complicated. 0.5% uh, of those homes with the demographic of 18 to 49 are watching the show, watching Impact Wrestling. So this, this kind of brings me back to a point that I like to often make is that when we're focusing on, you know, uh, bringing back ECW stars and stars of yesteryear, you know, you are appealing to an older audience and that's, you know, um, 18 to 49 is the, the target demo. And when you're uh, trying to appeal to the fans of DC ECW, you're you're playing with fire there as far as the age, if you feel me on that one. Um, and this is a point that I've made quite a bit is that there's that we're now in a position. We're now in a place where there's a whole younger generation that didn't see the downfall of TNA. They didn't see the dark years. They didn't know that used to be 2 million, a million viewers. And then they, you know, got down to several hundred thousand they don't know that there used to be eight thousand people in the arena now it's you know down to you know a few hundred um i mean as much as we get impact plus flashbacks and all that stuff i mean i'm sure they are probably caught on to that a little bit but there is a younger generation that you can really appeal to and uh you know i've brought up the comparison before uh, of the lakers and my la clippers you know we started gaining traction in los angeles when we form you know uh found our target fan base and our our identity and really started appealing to a younger audience that doesn't remember how good the lakers used to be you know what i mean so you know impact i think does have to uh, take that same mindset a little bit there's a younger audience uh, who loves independent wrestling and you know it's time to start finding some of those younger guys who, who have the cult followings and everything you know and, and bring them aboard and start trying to appeal to that demographic a little bit more. And you can tell by the commercials that we get watching Access TV, the Lipazine and all that, that, you know, an older audience is watching Access TV, you know, 
but that is a good thing that is by far the sh most watched show on Access TV. And we don't know what the TNA show numbers did because they were said to be very happy with it. And considering I think that show was in the uh, March time frame, you know, I'm guessing it probably was an additional 30,000 viewers or something like that. I'm sure with DVR, it passes the 200K mark. Um, and I don't know if these numbers are something that Impact Wrestling is happy with or that Anthem is happy with, you know, but we got to we got to keep in mind we are in a place where it is a smaller company. It is a, a Ring of Honor-esque type company now. It's not what it used to be. And we would love to have the millions of people watching, but it's just not there right now. And especially in these days, you know, lots of people DVR. There's, there's different people, different ways people consume uh, uh, television. So we're never going to get those high numbers again. But we got to, you know, keep in mind, it, it's still going to do better in Ring of Honor. It's still going to do better than, I think it's actually comparable to NWA a little bit here, these numbers. But it's, it's for the most part, they're going to do better than that. They're going to do a lot better than MLW. You know, they're still... They're still up there. They're competing for a space now with a lot of other different companies where before it was just them and WWE for a long time. So, you know, there's a lot of things that have changed over the years. But, you know, to look at these numbers, they're not super encouraging. But, you know, given the state of everything going on, how many wrestling companies are, you know, it, it's solid enough. And I can tell you from a conversation I had that their numbers overseas and everything are always really good, really high. They're really happy with those numbers. They get good revenue from their uh, explosion is very popular overseas that's why they don't change the format for us here in the united states who actually can't stand that format they're never going to do that because the show isn't made for us in the united states so that's just uh the way it is are we going to get a the, you know a spin-off tna show you know i feel like we're not but you know based off some of the rumors that's very very possible uh those numbers i would guess would probably be lower than that though i don't think that would be the main show you know what i mean i think it would be the b show so i would have to believe they would be a little bit lower but i don't know so that's the information that has come out forbes had done an article prior to slammiversary saying that you know to their knowledge the viewership was was for impact was like 250k um but i think that same person looked deeper into the ratings and he might have been the one that actually reported this information that pw torch uh, got their hands on so I think that's I think PW Torch is the wrestling outlet that reported it. So wanted to at least put that out there. So maybe we'll keep getting the numbers. I don't know. Um, it would be nice if we do to we can see if the show is growing or not and seeing what Slammiversary did for it. But we know the pay-per-view buys were up clearly uh, based off these numbers. Um, seven more seven thousand more people watched the show and about eight thousand more watch on Twitch. So that's still a lot of people i mean in, in in the grand scheme of things with television that's that's minute but you know that's still a lot of people if you're if you're looking at the straight up number so leave your thoughts in the comments and uh we'll keep an eye on this information to see if it you know changes or we get new information or continuing information but that's what it is and i'm out peace